Hi, I'm Steve Light, manager of house tours at Monticello. Thomas Jefferson filled his hall with so many items of interest, but for me, the most fascinating is the presence of his nemesis, Alexander Hamilton. Jefferson had two busts modeled by the Italian sculptor Giuseppe Seracci on opposite sides to the entrance of his hall. Hamilton's was countered by a much larger bust of Jefferson himself. One of Jefferson's grandchildren tells us that Jefferson was fond of remarking that they would remain, quote, opposed in death as in life. Jefferson and Hamilton both served in George Washington's first cabinet. Jefferson as Secretary of State, Hamilton as Secretary of the Treasury. And they immediately clashed with each other on the size, scope, and power of the federal government. Jefferson and Hamilton fought about the assumption of state debts. They fought about foreign policy. They fought about the creation of the National Bank. Hamilton wanted to promote commerce and industry, urban interests. He wanted a strong central government and he distrusted the increasing participation in politics of common citizens. Meanwhile, Jefferson supported agrarian interests. He distrusted what he viewed as too much power in the hands of the federal government, and he firmly supported the right of common citizens to direct their government. Their rivalry hastened the creation of our first party system. Hamilton would eventually die in a duel with Thomas Jefferson's vice president, Aaron Burr, in 1804. Jefferson clearly understood that his visitors here in this hall would recognize the interesting juxtaposition of these two figures. But I often wonder, did he realize that 200 years later, future visitors to Monticello would still recognize this interesting juxtaposition? Did he realize that 200 years into the future, Americans would still be fighting with each other over some of these very same ideas, albeit in sometimes very different contexts? I am pretty certain, though, that Jefferson would never have imagined that these ideas would be popularized in a smash hit musical on Broadway, and that they would be portrayed by an ethnically diverse cast that is representative of a modern America that Thomas Jefferson could have never imagined himself.